All right. Hey, everybody. How you doing today? Boom, boom. Oh my gosh, I just got black paint all over my face. <laughs> Story of my life. Welcome to Debbie Doodles Art and Soul Take Two. This is going to be the container jig. That's the name. That's what I'm going to call it. That's what I'm going to call it. So I just did one where um, I tried to do a fire and ice. And although it came out very cool, there was like no color in it except for black and a little bit of blue. So I did it again, less paint. I did blue on the bottom, reds on top with a little bit of black on the bottom and a little bit of black on the top. Um, I didn't put any white in it. I just want to see what will happen with the different um, ways to layer it and less paint because I had way too much paint last time. So we're going to try it again and see how it goes. I'm hoping for color and depth. Thank you. It looks pretty cool in here. Doesn't that look neat? So we're going to see what happens. Ready, set. That looks pretty cool already. Well, there's color. That's what I was looking for. I'm just going to, because I have some, whoops. Oh, I don't know if I should do that. There's some cool cells popping up in here. All right, I'm going to run the torch over it real quick. Again, there's no silicone in this. That looks really cool right through here. We're going to see what happens. So I know I'm going to lose some of it. I think I did it better with the amount of paint this time. Bella, Bella, you better get. And I think what I'm going to do too, because I didn't lay down white, um, I'm going to put a little white just for, just for it to uh, move. So I'm going to surround it with some white just to get it to go. chunky thing just came out. Goodbye. The heck? It's like a piece of metal. I don't know what that is about. Okay. Alright, so we got a little bit of movement here. I don't want to lose all that, so I'm going to bring it down. Bella, 
my kitty cat cannot stay from messing with stuff. <laughs> I came in this morning and there was little kitty cat paws on my table and paint. She just was stepping in, I guess, leftover paint. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's get back so this technique you definitely have to have some patience with I mean you have to have patience with all of it but this one we're trying to keep some of these lines there's not a whole lot of jiggy jig going through here so it is definitely something I'm going to need to practice so I'm going to bring it back down, take the weight of the paint to the bottom, and then that way I can do side to side here without losing. Go ahead and tip it over the edges, help it along. Sometimes you got to help it along, folks. I like the colors in it and the uh, shimmer from the gold is coming through so that's really cool oh shoot don't lose your painting guys because <laughs> it'll happen <laughs> It gets slippery. <laughs> I I like it though. I I, th I like the colors in it. I'm gonna bring it back down over this way a little bit. Let those colors spread. That's really cool. The black gave it just enough to give it some outline and some interesting. Ooh, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Let me put it down before I drop it again. Got this edge over here. That's really cool. So I definitely got color this time, for true, for reals. I like this, um, I really like the, the lines in it. I'm going to bring it back to the middle a little bit, and I think, let's see. And so I want to look and see where do I want to go from here. I think I'm going to, I think I'll bring it down a little. Right in the center. I think I want to cover this a little bit better over here at the end. <clears throat> Don't want to lose too much of that, but I did want a little bit better coverage. And bring that back to the center. Very cool. Let's bring it down this way. You guys see it? That's neat, huh? I dig it. You dig it. So again, not so much this the ziggy zaggy that I wanted, <laughs> but a very cool painting. So sometimes things don't come out the way that you plan them to, but sometimes they come out super groovy anyway. I dig it. This one has a lot of um, character. It's interesting. I like the way that the yellows and the reds and a little bit of blues and then over here see we've got a, a lot of little cells coming up. I'm actually not going to hit this one with a torch. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun so it's a little bit less heat. I don't really want very many more cells in it. Uh, there's these little white cells popping up. Whoops. And then there's my finger being stuck in it. Darn it Debbie. <laughs> Get off. Okay, dirty fingers, hold on. <clears throat> Glad my sink isn't too far away. Okay. Alright. Let's see, what else do I want to do? Alright, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun real quick. Let's see what happens. Pop the bubble, see if any more cells pop up. I've, I've kind of stopped using uh, 
silicone as much. Um, there's a lot of cleanup you have to do. You know, once your painting's dry, then you have to put alcohol or Dawn or whatever so that you can you know, seal them. And I found that a lot of times you get cells. So I, there's all kinds of cool cells in here. You know, they're not giant cells, but they're still very cool cells. I really like how this looks right through here, so I'm going to kind of manipulate it more, just kind of stretch it out a little bit more. I, I dig that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Cool colors and warm colors. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. I, I know that I'm going to eventually get this technique down pat, but until then, I'll keep on creating pretty cool groovy stuff like this <laughs> thanks again you guys so much again that was take two i'm sure i'll come along with take three you guys have a great day thanks for joining me debbie doodles art and soul don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you